objective of destroying, you know, the world as we understand the world, you know, for a good of a very small group of people. That I think is also, you know, in, in fairness to most of these people. Je li točno da svoje mandate predsjednici nekih najvećih zemalja svijeta dobivaju upravo na sastancima grupe Bilderberg? I ako da, kako je to bilo s nekim od aktualnih vorećih ljudi u svijetu? Well, the, I, I think the, the, you know, the most telling example is Bill Clinton, who attended back in uh, 1991. Uh, um, I should mention that sitting presidents, uh, meaning presidents who are in office, never attend Bilderberg, simply because every second of their time is accounted for, but you know, they're represented by others in the government. And the people who attend Bilderberg meetings, they don't attend as individuals, they attend as representatives of the government or some organization. Uh, As far as Clinton, he came in 1991, and uh, uh, David Rockefeller took him aside, and he asked him, you know, how he felt about NAFTA, the North American Free Trade Agreement, which was signed in, in, uh, on October 3rd, 1987, in, in Washington. And Clinton, had, you know, at the time, was just a lowly governor of Arkansas, and he was making $35,000 a year, which, you know, compared to what David Rockefeller makes a year, you know, makes you wonder what was he doing there. Možda ima mali fuš u švercanju droge, ali to je druga priča. Well, he did, but that's not why he attended Bilderberg, you know. It's, uh, so the, uh, uh, so uh, David uh, Rockefeller said to him, you know, do you know what NAFTA is? And, uh, and Clinton said, well, no, I have no idea. So Rockefeller sat him down, and he gave him a master class on, uh, uh, on, uh, on what North American Free Trade Agreement was. And then he asked him, you know, if you were president, would you support it? And he said, well, is it important to you, David? And Rockefeller said, you know, it's very, very important to me. And uh, Clinton said, well, you know, I, of course. And so Rockefeller stretched his arm and said, mm -hmm. you know, thank you, Mr. President. You know, it's, it's a story. It's a funny story, and, and it's, a, it's almost an anecdote. But the fact is, is that next year, you know, the following year, 1992, he was elected president. And another example is Barack Obama. He attended in, uh, in uh, 2008 along with Hillary Clinton. Uh, you know, that famous episode where, you know, the reporters were on the airplane and suddenly Barack Obama wasn't there. He just kind of disappeared. And then he, you know, appeared at the Bilderberg Conference in Chantilly. And at that meeting, uh, the American delegates told Barack Obama, and again, I know this because our members, you know, who are inside Bilderberg have told us this, And for those who are doubting what I'm saying right now, again, if you look on the internet, my prediction is going back years, years and years. I, my batting average is almost 100%. Mm -hmm. And uh, so American delegates told Barack Obama that, you know, the presidency was his to lose. In other words, you play by, you know, do what you're supposed to, say the right things, you know, smile the right time, and, you know, you win the presidency.